Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve website authoring task for paper three, Cambridge IGCSE exam, May, June, 2023, variant 31. Okay, so for this exam paper, I have done um, the spreadsheet task. Okay, you might just go through my channel and check out the video. Okay, so we'll go straight to the web um, authoring task. Okay, so you're working as a team of um, as a team of web developer okay, at Tawara Web, and I've been asked to create I've been asked to create parts of a web page for a client. Create is Create CSS to be added to an external style sheet to meet these specifications. Okay, set the font for H1, H2, A3, and the paragraph styles so that the web browse, browser selects and display the font calibre. Okay, if this font is not available, the web browser should select and display the font Helvetica. Okay. And if neither of these fonts is available, the browser should display its for the fault sans serif font. Okay, so to do that, let's open uh, Microsoft Expression Web. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to create a CSS. Okay, and then we need to create um, we need to create styles. Okay, for fonts H1, H2, H3, and paragraph. Okay, so I'm going to create format new. Okay, so I'm just going to title it. H1, H2, H3, and then P. Okay, so the font should be Calibri. Okay. And if Calibri is not available, then you should have Helvetica. Okay, Helvetica. Make sure the spelling is correct. Helvetica, new. No. Okay, and if it's not available, then it should display sans serif. Okay, sans serif. Okay, apply. Okay. Okay, we have this. Okay, there's a mistake. This is supposed to be one. Okay, that's done. Okay, so it says, place a copy of your CSS in your evidence document. Okay, a copy of it. So we are going to take the screenshot. Okay. And then place in our evidence document. Okay, um, you can see uh, this is evidence. Okay, for this paper, this is evidence two. Create all the head section of a web page to meet these specifications. Okay, so the title for the web page is weather data. Okay. Okay. HTML. Okay. Okay, you can remove all of this. You can remove all of that. It's not important. Okay, you can remove all of this also. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so the title is supposed to have this name called weather data. 
Okay. Set the character encoding. Okay, for meta tags, we need to set the character encoding to this data. Okay. Okay, so to do that after the title. Okay. Meta. Okay, so just place the details and then close the tag. Okay, that's done. Set the name of the author to Tawara Web, okay, followed by a space, then your name, okay, the name of the author. Okay, so another meta. Okay, name. The name is author. And then the content. Excuse me. And then the content is Tawara Web, followed by your name. Okay, and then close the tag. Okay, then set the web page description to weather data for the Tawara region. Okay, the web page description. Okay, another meta. Name. Okay, the name is description. Okay, description and the content is Okay, and then close. Okay, set the viewport to the width of the device being used with an initial scaling of two. Okay, so the viewpoint. Okay, we are going to create another meta. Okay, meta name. Okay, viewpoint, sorry, viewport. Okay, the content. Okay, the content is the width of the device. Okay, it's set to the scale of two. And then close the tag. And then we have set two appropriate meta tag keywords for use by search engines for this page. Okay, so our keyword should be um, Tawara and the data on this web page. Okay, is about weather. Okay, so our keywords will be Tawara and weather. Okay, so let's create a meta tag for it. Okay, the name. Okay, the name is keywords. Okay, and then content. Okay, so we have Tawara. And then weather. Okay, close. And then set the default target window to blank if a new web page is opened from within this web page. Okay, this you can just type the base target. Okay, the base target. Okay, blank, and then close. Okay, place a copy of your HTML source in your evidence documents.
Okay, press a copy in your evidence document. Okay, so you can just copy and then paste in your evidence document. Okay, you can title this evidence three. Okay. Do we want to remove this space? Okay. Okay, make sure your name, center number, and candidate number appear on every page of your evidence document. Save and print your evidence document. Okay, that has been done. Okay, we have our name, center number, and candidate number. And that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and do not forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.